Would you accept a transfusion or blood products from a chimpanzee or a gorilla? Or what about a pig? One person did back in 1667 when French physician Jean-Baptiste Denis successfully transfused blood from a lamb into a 15-year-old human boy. Boy survived and that was the first fully documented human blood transfusion. This may surprise many people as most are aware that even humans are not universally transfusion compatible. Actually, there are minor differences between the blood of humans, apes and other animals whose effects on transfusion would have to be understood completely. Humans also may still have some lingering superstitions about blood from non-humans that make xenotransfusion unpalatable. Also, when it comes to great apes, they are endangered. They are not like cows and pigs that simply are bred in industrial quantities to serve humans. So even while it might be no more trouble for an ape to donate blood than for a hen to lay eggs, the supply of a blood would be fairly small anyway. Thus, as we consider xenotransfusion, pigs might actually be a more feasible option. And in fact, that's what's happening. Xenotransfusion research completely focuses on pigs, not apes. And it's not just because pigs are abundant, their blood actually is quite similar to human blood. The size of red blood cells is similar, so is the typical red blood cell lifespan, the hemoglobin content and structure, and other factors, plus pigs can be genetically modified to produce red blood cells that are equivalent to human type 0 negative. As noticed earlier, that's the universal donor blood, and this makes xenotransfusion sound very attractive, 